The problem is some of you look like what you're going through. My Jesus. My Jesus. Talk like what you're going through. My Jesus. Act like what you're going through. My Jesus. And wonder why God won't deliver. Jesus. That's right. Jesus. That's right. Wonder why God ain't bringing you up. Uh-huh. That's God. Because when you start depending upon your own self to get you out of whatever you're going through, God will give it over to you. Jesus. And say, since you don't want me to make the way, you make the way. My Lord, my Lord. And then while you're trying to make the way and you're trying to do it on your own, you're depressed, yep. stressed, yep. worn out, sad, Jesus. can't smile. Yes. Oh That's true. Walk around with your head, huh? Yes. Jesus. See, I can understand the world, but some of you that say you got the Holy Ghost. My Lord, Jesus. See, you filled up with God. Jesus. Every time, every little wind blow. Uh -huh. yeah. Every little crisis that come your way. My Lord. You, you, you start acting like. Uh huh. God ain't there. Like God is asleep. Jesus. Like God can't see. You know, y'all act like them disciples that was on a boat with Jesus. And Jesus was sleeping in the boat. And all of a sudden, the, the wind started raging. And, and the sea started roaring. And Jesus asleep on the boat and the disciples are getting scared mm -hmm. and they start getting flustered and, and frustrated mm. and they start panicking but here's my issue how you gonna panic with Jesus in the boat my lord my lord my lord Jesus my lord Jesus hey, like he wasn't there since the split he was in the boat that's right my lord Jesus. He was a body in the ship. Yep. And they were still scared. Yep. Still nervous. And not only is he in the ship, he's in you. Amen, amen, amen. Christ in you. Amen. The hope of glory. Jesus. How is Christ in you? And he's the hope of glory and you still doubt it. Jesus. And you still fear it. Jesus. You just say Christ in you, the hope. Yes, right. And why are you hopeless? Yes. If Christ is in you, he's in the boat. Yes, right. Jesus. They're panicking. Mm. They're frustrated and confused. And now they're going to wake up poor Jesus in the midst of their panic. Yep. And the first thing that Jesus looks at them and says, Oh, ye. Yeah. Little yeah. Little yeah. Little a little faith. Yeah. I'm right here in the boat. And Jesus sleep on the boat, but he's the creator of the water. I know your mouth's too close. He's the creator of the wind. And all he does is get up and say, peace be. And everything that was chaotic. Stop. That's right. See, here's the problem. You made him your God, but didn't make him the God of your situation. Jesus. I got you. Jesus. I got you. Jesus. He's my God, but if he's your God, then that means he has dominion over everything that you will go through. Amen. Sister Sweeney, he's not only your God, but he is the God of sickness. Yes, he is. Yes, he's yes. the God of disease. Thank you, Jesus. And all he got to do is speak a word. Lord, help me in here. And every disease and every sickness must bow down to the authority. Yes, Jesus. He's sovereign. Do you know what it means to be sovereign? It means you're not under nobody's dominion. It means everything is submitted to you. Even your giant. Uh -huh. 
you rule. He's the God of your fear. Yes, sir. He's the God of your insecurity. Yes, yes, yes. yes He's the God. Uh huh. Over whatever situation you're facing. Yes. But you gotta let him be God. Amen. Amen. Over whatever you're going through. Thank you, Lord. Stop jumping and shouting. Yeah. Mm. Speak it in tongues. Mm. And talking about he's your God. Uh -huh. But yet, the minute you go through opposition, Jesus. you go through trials and tribulation, you let what you go through become your God. But Minister Blair, we're not like the Catholics and we're not bowing to idols, but some of you got idols of doubt. Idols of fear. Idols of frustration. You let your job become an idol. My Lord. Jesus. You let your pain become an idol. Jesus. Minister Blair, how? Because you talk more about your pain and your problems. God. More than you talk about God, I don't want to hear no testimony in here talking about what you going through. When you get up, you say, my God is able. Yes, yes, yes. Saints, I'm going through right now, but I know a God that is a strong deliverer. Yes, God, I praise you. Yes, Magnify your God. Yes, God. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. We Jesus. magnify the problem more than we magnify our God. Yes. The word magnify means to and make Lord. something bigger. Yes. To make it greater. Yes. You know when you over exaggerate. You know when you're being too dramatic. You know you get a headache and you act like you're dying. My Lord, my Lord. Your bill is only one month behind and you frustrated. Jesus. Like God ain't able to make double. Yeah. For whatever you go, oh, my cell phone is behind. My, my, my rent is behind. How backed up you are just a month. When you have people that are facing foreclosure in their homes. Jesus, Jesus. Months of backed up bills. Yeah. Yeah. And you got people that got months of backed up bills yeah. and they're still trusting in God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And the minute, Lord, I put yes, Jesus. Talk about it. That the people come to foreclose on the house at the very last minute, God step in. Jesus, Jesus. Here's the problem. You want God to step in when you want him to step in. Lord, I preach you. But you got to have faith in it, even when it's the last. But well, Minister Blair, you can say that because you preach the gospel, but no, I lived it by experience. I know what it's like to have an eviction on your door. Lord, I preach. I know what it's like for the sheriff to knock on Friday and say you got to be out Monday. I know what it's like, sister, to shut the door. And act like that joker just didn't come. Y'all about to be out of here by Monday. Thank you, sir. Shut the door. Honey, go put the kids in the tub. Get them ready for bed. And I know what it's like to go to sleep. And rest. With no worry. That was Friday. Got to be out by Monday. Jesus. And you don't got no place to go. Yeah. You don't know where you're going. Lord, you got to work a miracle. Yes. Yeah. Yes, That's Lord. Right. Yes, yes. Within 72 hours. Yes, yes, yes. You have to work a miracle. You got to turn this thing around. How it is to put your trust in God. Uh -huh. To get a knock on the door, eviction pending you on a Friday. And by the time Monday come, you're packing up a U-Haul. Not to go to a shelter, Lord, I praise you. Not 
not to get to a shelter, but to pack up the U-Haul. Lord, I praise you. And move into a bigger Jesus. and a better Jesus. house than what you were getting evicted out of. Jesus. Don't tell me, God. Jesus. Oh God. You got to trust him. Yeah. Probably some of y'all have not been through nothing yet to prove him. Jesus. See, David was getting ready to go against Goliath, uh -huh. and they wanted to put on some armor. And when they went to go put on the armor, David said, wait a minute, no. I ain't proved this stuff. Right. I ain't skilled in this. Right. I don't know how to operate in this. Uh -huh. I ain't taking on that armor. Uh -huh. I ain't putting on that junk. Yeah. Yeah. So David went and got what he was used to, mm -hmm. and he got that slingshot. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. And he got him one smooth stone. Yeah. He had to get a whole bunch. <laughs> Since Victoria, he knew that, that one. That's it. That's it. That one. What's going to do the job? That's why some of y'all better stop going to these psychologists. My Lord. And these psychiatrists. And that's why you better stop going all around to all these doctors trying to figure what you got to figure out. Where you need to go, we need to go to Jesus. My Lord. I don't care nothing about Dr. Phil and Oprah Winfrey. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus. Well, you just don't know. Now, now I'm hearing preachers talking about you got to go to a psychiatrist and to the church. Lord, Lord, I praise you. And now they're telling us that we can't only be spiritual, but we got to be practical. So you got to go sit on somebody's couch. But I remember in the Bible, there was a man who was a lunatic. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Lord, I praise you. And he was walking around the tombs. Lord, help me in here. But naked. Jesus. Yes, Rob. Uh -huh. Butt naked! Yeah. Walking around butt naked. Cutting himself. Yeah. Well, Minister Black, you know, it is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we got to tell the people practical truths. Let me tell you something. The man in the Bible, they call him a lunatic. Lord, I praise you. He was psychotic. Lord, I praise you. But what? Encounter with Jesus. My Lord. Oh God, and everybody was scared when he came on the unit. Yeah. 
folks said it would work over there, yeah. was mad. And then when he dropped him from a two to one to a one on one, they even got even scared. Of. Then I had to sit over this, over this up and just jump up. by myself. Yeah. You see, work on the morning shift, the work of the day shift was easy, but that night shift. It's hard, and I worked 11 and 7. Mm -hmm. And one day I was on that unit by myself, and that joker got the punching stuff in the room. Boom, boom, boom. Cussing, carrying on. And he ran out of the room in a psychotic rain, and I sat there. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Most people started coming in, and I could see him in the glass in the room, started peeking over. See what he was doing, scared. And I sat right there. Mm -hmm. And he banged it on the wall. Yeah. And while he banged it on the wall, you're in the workplace and they got cameras, so you can't yeah. do too much. Yeah. Yeah. See, I know the power of God. Hey, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Glory. I said that I said in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He started getting louder, and as he got louder, I started raising my voice a little bit more. Uh -huh. I said, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus, he turned, and he started running down the unit toward me. I said, in the name of Jesus, he turned around, yeah. went in the room, and yeah. went to sleep. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Hey. Went in the room, loud, laid down. Next thing I know, when I went to do a face check, he snoring. Jesus. And he slept the rest of the night. The clock came, it was time for me to get off of work, and the minute I was getting up, he was waking up. Jesus. <laughs> Sliding up out of the room. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> I went home. Uh huh. Now you joking got to deal with him. Right, right. right. Amen. Amen. Your God got to be the God of everything you go through. Yeah. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You might be facing a giant, mm -hmm. but when you realize you got Jesus. Hey, Jesus. That giant, Hallelujah. That is nine feet tall. Mm. Bigger than life itself. Yes. yes. Becomes very small. Mm -hmm. yeah. David took that slingshot. And he put that rock in there. He flung that joker back. That giant came down. David climbed on top of him. Took the sword. Cut off his head. And David walked around. With the head of the giant. My Lord. Which lets us know that if you put your trust and your confidence in God, yes, sir. whatever is trying to overtake you right now, mm -hmm. God will give you the victory. Stand all over yes, the Yes, he will. Hallelujah. To overcome. Thank you, Jesus. And God will allow you to use your Jesus. dilemma. Yes. As a testimony. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Of what God could do. Hallelujah. Now David can add to the resume. Yes. That the God that put the line in my hand. Hey. The God that gave me the head of this bed. It's the same God yes. that's right. that has given me the hand of this uncircumcised Philistine. That's right. Letting us know that if God has done it before, yes. Yes. He is well able that's right. to do it again. Amen. And there is no problem too small. Thank you, Lord. No problem too big. Thank you, Jesus. That God does not have the ability. To bring you out of. Thank you, Lord. Only believe. Only believe. Hands lifted.